All right, Cancer. <laughs> Hi, guys, and welcome back to the Mother Trusted channel. If you're already familiar with this space, then you already know what to expect. So welcome back. So glad to be interacting with your energy again. But if you're new, definitely come in and feel safe enough to be yourself, um, no matter where you are energetically, be it positive, negative, or neutral. It really doesn't matter so long as you leave better than you came, okay? Like this video, subscribe, and share this video if you feel like other people need to hear the message. But also turn on the post notifications so you're made aware as soon as I upload a video. As I was shuffling the cards and I cut the deck, I saw the Nine of Wands um, and I heard the word turbulence. So there may be some turbulence going on in your life. Is this something that is self-inflicted, something that you have caused, or is this just something that you just have no control over? It was inevitable to happen and so you're just going to have to let things just fall as they may. Um, and pick up whatever pieces you can, but continue to move forward. Let's see how it plays out for you guys here. But with that turbulence card, I definitely feel like Cancer, you guys enjoy getting people riled up. You like getting a rise out of people. You may never admit it, but I definitely see that. I see that with a lot of the influencers that are on um, YouTube already. And I see that within the relationship dynamics that my mom has with friends and family. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. We all have our vices. We all have our shortcomings. Um, ooh, okay. The double card was at the bottom after I reshuffled. Like when I cut the camera on, I did see the devil at the bottom and now he's here. So let's get into this spread, guys. You have the Ace of Cups that came out as the overlying energy followed by the two of pentacles the two of cups so repeating twos the devil card oh and the two of swords not even repeating you have okay two 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 for some reason i'm being told to continue shuffling like there's supposed to be one more card okay um and then you have the queen of swords that came out All right Bottom of the deck is a page of swords with the four of cups and the knight of cups. Let's see how this, this pans out. Like I was saying, you guys, you may never admit it, but you enjoy getting a rise out of people. Some of you guys, though, you act in barbaric ways, but to you, you don't see it like that with this devil energy here which is interesting and you don't like being told when you're wrong like when somebody tries to confront you with something or and then telling you like how they feel or how you made them feel it's like you refuse to believe that you have the capability of being I don't want to say monstrous but of being inconsiderate I will say that or just being oblivious to the fact that what you say can be hurtful or what you do can be hurtful though I don't really want to say do because there's not a lot of red which gives me the indication that it's more action oriented energy um, I am definitely seeing more blue so it's more so the throat chakra so some of you guys you need to start working on the throat chakra because i feel like for some of you it's over activated at this time so you can be a little bit more brash um you can be also a little bit more strict or just your words overall they're just more piercing so just be very careful with that if you're single you are in that space where you are tired of going about your day-to-day -day life and having nobody to go home to and so maybe some of that then is it can be what you are deflecting out unto other people and how you get rises out of other people because you're sad but you don't know how to maybe vocalize that emotion and so instead you turn to something that may feel a little bit easier which can be more volatile turbulent energy with that nine of wands that i saw right or with this devil energy here yelling or screaming or 
again yeah because you don't know how to vocalize so it comes out in a different way than how you truly intend it because at the core of who you guys are you're very sweet you're very soft you're very sensitive people you know and you would go to bat for those that you you do love and care for so again, at the end of the day, like I was saying at the very beginning, it's just we all have our shortcomings and that's one of the things. Though you feel every emotion um, and you understand every emotion as they come through you and also potentially you absorb the emotions of other people, you're not that great at articulating them. Like you can't find the words for them to, to like get other people to really understand and resonate with what it is that you feel you know hopefully I said that right mercury has been doing a thing <laughs> and so I just I'm having a hard time so I know that some of this energy isn't even me um, but at this time you can also expect to have have issues I'm definitely getting like stuttering <laughs> Here, so some of you guys, um, you may not like to articulate your emotions because whenever you feel that you do, either you get choked up with this energy, or you start to stumble over your words. You start to stutter, or you might have a speech impediment, or it triggers that to happen. Um, and so, again, you use other methods of trying to get your point across here. Some of you guys, though, with this Two of Pentacles and this Devil energy, there is something in your life that really kind of has you by the neck, you know, has you by the ovaries. So if you're working, it can be the line of work that you're in that may be intercepting your ability to connect with people. Or to be able to just meet somebody that you would be attracted to in that way. So say you have the ability to work from home or with this air energy, say you just you you travel a lot. So you're never really home. Um, that can be the thing, too, especially if you're not the type that is into long distance relationships. Um, that can be kind of like a. A thorn in your side with this devil energy with your line of work it just makes it damn near impossible for you to ever meet somebody like not impossible to meet somebody right because say you're a flight attendant then of course like in your travels you're gonna come across other people that may be from where you're from but you understand that you can only go but so far with those connections because at the end of the day you're meeting in a space where where you don't have to deal with the responsibilities of life you don't have to deal with reality when you're on vacation but as a flight attendant when you're flying into these spots and you have a layover i don't know what the technical technical terms are for um when you guys have to stay in a certain place for a certain amount of time before boarding on the next flight um but you only know again like it's only going to go so far so it's almost not even worth the time or the effort because you know it's just more so like a fantasy that you or the other person are living out. But for some of you guys, you don't want that. So you're just trying to refrain with this devil energy or that's what you're having to learn at this time. Um, refrain from being so like naive and not listening and honoring your intuition when it comes to what you should and or shouldn't do for some of you cancerians though this is you having too high of an opinion of yourself with this queen of swords energy and so you need to come back down to earth because you have so much that is up in the air in this spread so you're needing to ground yourself a little bit um, and humble yourself a little bit here. It's okay to have standards and it's okay to have boundaries, but you can still be a civil individual. You know what I mean? When you're speaking with people, people that may come up to you and be attracted to you or want more than like a friendship with you um, and it's very evident 
that what what they what they want from you as sex because you guys are intuitive so you you just naturally know um the intentions of other people or the the motives that that people can have here um but you can still be civil and you can still be polite in your dismissal of them and not making somebody feel like crap at the end of the day um for those of you that are in a marriage or already in a relationship the only indicators that I have of that are these twos that you see, the Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Two of Swords. But they are just so low in the court cards compared to this Queen of Swords energy that I don't even know what to make of it. I feel like if anything, there's just a lot of conversations being had, a lot of tea being spilled with this Page of Swords and the Four of Cups that's at the bottom of the deck. Um, be careful with that though, with this Page of Swords and the Four of Cups, that you're not running to your friends or that your partner's not running to their friends and just telling um, your business or their business here because I definitely feel like there are some parrots in the group that will just you know turn around and just continue to spread that like nobody should be in your personal business with your partner especially when you guys go through um challenging situations because there's always somebody that's waiting in the wings that's what i'm hearing for sure to like come in and try to save the day you know what i'm you know what i'm saying like acting like they're the fucking hero or that they are the heroine of the story you know what i mean you already know how that story ends for a lot of people so just save yourself the trouble with that um if anybody asks how you guys are doing right now even if things seem a little um I don't want to say that inconclusive yeah that'd be the word even if things are a little bit inconclusive to you guys right now if anybody asks how you guys are doing just you're great um just you know just wear a smile on your face unless you absolutely trust the advice that you're getting out of somebody and maybe that's the thing for those of you that are in partnerships already if you feel like you guys are struggling with being able to um, understand each other then with this queen of swords this can be a mediator that you go to somebody that is unbiased so like a therapist if you can afford it or getting a reading done you know if you can afford that or just getting some sound rational advice from somebody that is like a credible recommended source and that can keep confidentiality you know what i'm saying they're not gonna then run and go tell everybody your business you know what i mean that's why i say don't go to your friends for that because they will do that go to your parents but even then i know that for some people that that can be tricky some some of you you may not have parents to go to um you may not have a confidant then at this time what you need to do is journal your thoughts before expressing them so you can write them down Put it down go take a bath go go meditate go do something else listen to music or whatever it is that can kind of bring you back to center and then revisit it later you know before you go to sleep reopen it and read through what it was that you you pretty much just got out and see how much of that still resonates for you are you still in the same place emotionally if not there's no sense in holding on to it rip the page out and burn it appreciate it for what it was you know what i'm saying but then move on and if it is then you can if that is something that helps support you in being able to get your emotions out then use that while you're speaking with your partner be like i made this journal entry just hear me out listen listen to the words and how i wrote them um, and if you want to do the same thing, you do that. Or if not, just give me your feedback after. And let's just go back and forth until we can find a solution here with this Two of Pentacles. Because um, the love is there. I'm just not getting that there is a lot of it. Like you're not in a honeymoon phase in love right now if you're already partnered. It just is. It exists. You know it's there. Um, but right now I feel like is the time for you guys to improve upon that, you know, or to uh, revise some things. So you're renovating, you're renovating your love life, Cancer. That's what I'm getting here for a lot of you guys, um, be it single or be it in a partnership. But yeah, that's what I have for you Cancerians here. So if this reading resonated, give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and family. Subscribe if you haven't and book with me should you need to. 
But if I don't hear from you, then please just take care of yourself and soul until you see me again. Ciao.